my Todd. Here's what I've got so far, man. It's got a really good shift light in it, I'll tell you that. Oh, no, I haven't. This thing has to be taped down. Let's try that again if I can get in focus. Yeah, it, it's not taped on there, it's just placed on there. So, and your slip light, I made in white because it should alert you if it comes on. And uh, traction controls in red, your cruise, uh, cruise and set cruise, which you can't turn on now, are both in red. And, uh, and here we are. So, <laughs> and it's not really that hot. And, of course, you won't have the brake light and the check engine light on, blah, 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 uh, like it is now. But, but here's, I'm, I'm fixing to stop, it's about 5 in the morning. So, and it always looks orange on the camera. Uh, compared to real life so uh, so here we go um, looks like I've got a little bleed on the 160 I should fix that tomorrow night but anyway I wanted to get in focus without turning on my windshield wiper now if you decide that the white looks brighter on the camera than it does to the eye Tell you the truth, it's not as bright as I would like, and that's because of the transparency that he's used here. To my eye, it's a little off-white, a little maybe brownish yellow, something like that. If you want to go all red with a white shift light, like the video I showed you, you can just let me know, and I'll redo it on uh, Tuesday night which will be uh, today after the sun comes up. So I'll put this on my website and give you a link and you let me know how you like it. All right, bro. All right, Big Todd. We've gone all red, as you can see. What I did also, uh, our stock needles have silver, uh, a silver cap, and then the uh, needle goes through it. But what I've done, I've taken... Uh, for the temperature and fuel, I've taken needles out of the center, uh, out of a center gauge, which have black caps to match the center, and then I've got a speedometer needle for you over here with black cap as well. That's off a of G35. I actually bought that G35 cluster for the guy at administrative tuning, and I never did a cluster. It was an experiment anyway, so... <laughs> Uh, but this thing looks looks spectacular. Now, this clear needle, that's a clear needle with a red LED under it and then a white LED under it, and that's how we get it to change. Now, in the daytime, it is not as red as the other stuff. If you want, you know, um, the clear needles all the way around, we can do it, but at night they look the same, but in the day they don't look as good as the center and the G35. So I'll post this for you and I'm uh, almost, I think I have one or two more LEDs on the center cluster and then uh, we'll be moving on to that. So I'll post this for you, let me know how you like it.